think the important thing for people to know is you're not on your own. Um, baby loss affects a lot of families, um, sadly, um, and I think it's important to be aware of that wider baby loss community and that there is a huge amount of support out there when you need it and if you need it. For mums and fathers, um, a lot of the helplines will support grandparents, siblings, even your employers. If they're not sure how to support you best when you're planning to return to work, there is help out there for everybody. So I support families uh, when they've had a, a loss during pregnancy or in the early um, few weeks after birth. Um, any pregnancy after 20 weeks experiences a loss, uh, then I support them after they've gone home. I help them with plans for the funeral, I help them with paperwork, just help them uh, with any questions they might have. Being that one point of contact really, which is, is it's important to them at the time to not have to ring lots of different people to get answers. They can just come to me and I can help them um, or direct them to the person that can help them. So there are lots of online support um, that families can get from lots of different charities. SAN's probably one of the best known. Um, they have online forums, they have uh, regional support groups. Um, our local one is Cardiff and Newport SANS, which have regular Zoom meetings for families. Um, they have a helpline. Um, there's other charities like Abigail's Footsteps. Um, they provide a lot of training for healthcare professionals and we recently benefited from one of their fully funded study days. I've been a midwife for 20 years. I I have always felt very privileged to look after families who have experienced baby loss. Um, I lost my own daughter in 2008 um, and since then I've just wanted to give something back. I had amazing care, I was supported really well by my colleagues, um, my family um, and my friends and I couldn't have got through it without them and I want to be able to help people in the same way and support them in the same way I was supported. Um, it's a privilege to be part of these families' journeys at the most devastating time of their lives, but to be able to provide that support to them, and to be a part of that baby's life, um, in, in, even in a very small way, um, and just to make sure the families know that they're not alone and they're not isolated, they've got somebody to, to talk to.